easy to try lots of new ideas. Facebook wasn't the first thing I learned. I also built chat systems and games, study tools and music players, and I'm not alone. Welcome back to Dr. Think and Shine Goes to School. Thank you for joining us today for another story time. Today we're going to look at Barry and the Tooth Fairy. Now that's the lead. I'd rather be a nerd. I feel like Zuckerberg. I feel like Zuckerberg. I'd rather read, I'd rather be a nerd. I feel like Zuckerberg, I feel like Zuckerberg. Hey, thank you again for joining us. Ooh, if you or someone in your household is celebrating a birthday today or this week or sometime this month, happy, happy, happy birthday from Dr. Think and Shine and Friends. Today I have joining me, Smelly Melly the Fetid Pig. And even though she's smelly, we love reading with the Melly. Good. So today we'll look at Barry and the Tooth Fairy. That's so cute. Look at his little teeth missing. <laughs> cute, 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 cute. Barry lost two teeth in one day. Wow, kaplow, shazam, hip hip hooray. What a great day. He was so excited. Barry was brushing his teeth before school on a Tuesday and two loose teeth fell out. It did not hurt. It just felt different. During lunch at school, Barry's friends talked about the tooth fairy. His older cousin Jane said the tooth fairy left her two quarters under her pillow when she lost a tooth. Barry's classmate Jeff said the tooth fairy left him a quarter and some cinnamon flavored dental floss. Barry was so excited after he lost two teeth in one day, he went to school that Tuesday where he learned about the solar system in Miss Goodmiller's class. Barry and his classmates learned a lot about the solar system. They learned about the planets. They learned about Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Mercury, and Venus, Earth, and Mars. Barry learned that we live on planet Earth and the bright, bright sun is considered to be an ordinary star. Barry is still not, qu not quite sure why Pluto is currently no longer a planet. It is considered to be a dwarf planet. Perhaps Pluto has been inhabited by a tooth fairy named Super Janet. We should each try to examine it. <laughs> we live on planet Earth. Who knows, Barry thought. I might become an astronaut and travel into outer space someday. But for now, he was focusing on what the Tooth Fairy might bring on this Tuesday night. David, Barry's neighbor, told him that if he put his teeth under his pillow before bedtime, the Tooth Fairy would visit and leave a surprise. As interesting as the solar system lesson was, Barry continued to think about the Tooth Fairy. Is he or she in outer space? Barry wondered. Will I be asleep or will I get to see the Tooth Fairy's face? Which way should I place my tooth under the pillowcase? Hmm. Dear Mars, Neptune, and Saturn, Will the tooth fairy show up and fulfill the dream that I yearn? Barry scribbled on his notebook. What will she bring? What will he wear? Will she be flying in a rocket or will he be floating through the air? Hmm. In math class, when they were subtracting two from ten, Barry thought of his two teeth and the prizes he would win. <laughs> At lunch, Barry met a new friend. Barry and Larry had three things in common. They both had a toothless grin, their names rhymed, and they ate lunch at the same time. They ate lunch and slipped the spaghetti through their gaps. They laughed and laughed and made tooth fairy maps. What time will he come? Should we sleep or should we stare? 
Barry and Larry wondered what the tooth fairy would wear. When Barry got home, he searched and searched for his teeth to place under his pillow. He spotted them in the bathroom. As he reached for his teeth, one went down the drain and into the sink. Oops, ugh, clink, clink, clink. Barry did not know what to think. One tooth, one tooth was officially in the sink. Goodbye, tooth number one. Hello, tooth number two. The tooth fairy will soon come over for Barry. Hopefully that's true. Barry took tooth number two into his room and placed it in a sock under his pillow. He went to bed early that night to give the tooth fairy time for the flight. When Barry woke up on Wednesday morning, surprise, surprise, the tooth fairy left him a quarter and a purple and orange toothbrush. He or she also left Barry some mint flavored dental floss. The tooth fairy is such a thoughtful boss. Barry was so happy, he began to smile. He had been looking forward to the tooth fairy for quite a while. He still is not sure where the tooth fairy is from. All Barry knows is that the tooth fairy did come. The end. Barry and the Tooth Fairy by Dr. Think and Shine. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share it with someone. Stay safe, wear your mask. In the meantime, the Lord bless you and keep you, make his face shine upon you, be gracious unto you, give you peace, power, and love. More love. Boost. I feel like Zuckerberg, I feel like Zuckerberg.